have you achieved your dream life most of the life coaches would have told you to set a goal work towards it and then you will be able to achieve it the goal can be anything like earning more money double your income or get a very beautiful home or you get a dream car there are a lot of things and all you need to do is just think about it and dream that you are already existing in the world and you will be able to achieve it am i right so but in reality i see most people are not even able to achieve very small things that they dream isn't it so where exactly is the disconnect why people are not able to achieve their dreams if thinking is all they need to do here is the answer my name is senthil linguistic expert so i'm going to explain this with a live example what happened in my life right so one of my students have walked up to me i i'm naming him as krishna because i don't want to reveal the real name but the story is real so he wanted to speak good english so he told me that he faced a lot of challenges just because he could not speak english he could not crack the interviews though he has the knowledge he was not able to uh, perform well so he doesn't get the required job so he is currently into a job which pays him less money however he deserves much more than that so i asked him so what have you done he said that he has gone to some life coaches who gave him a lot of confidence and they told that you need to set a goal uh, 30 days you will be able to speak fluent english and then they also told him to imagine after he is able to speak english fluently how he is able to enjoy his new job well and he has to imagine all these things right so i asked him so have you done that so yes so he did this 30 days course however he was not able to achieve the benefits so i asked him how have you performed this 30 days challenge so he told me the secret so he said that he was asked to write down the goal and then uh, in a piece of paper and then take a print out appropriately right so the goal has to be taken a print out in a format and then keep it in your wallet and keep looking at it every day like morning and then before sleeping and even whenever you have time in the afternoon so i asked him have you done this so he said that uh, he has not taken a print out however he has written it in some notebook and then he has kept it inside the bag so i asked him so how do you read it every day so his answer was still no so he says he doesn't have to look at the goal because he remembers it very well so all he needs to do is just to recollect the memories of the goal so he does it every day all right so i asked him what do you do next so after he dreams about this in the morning he uh, goes take bath complete his regular task and go to his job come back watch a little bit of social media watch some movies and then again he looks at the goal uh, you know dream uh, dream the life what he wants to and then go to bed so this was his 30 days challenge that he has done so i told him there is nothing wrong in taking a 30 days challenge there is nothing wrong in setting up a goal and this is even told by abdul kalam the same method can work out right so you plan out something you keep a goal with you and work towards it you will be able to succeed however i told him there is one enemy who you need to fight with so that you will be able to achieve your goal and he was also surprised who is that enemy and why would i fight with him right so that i told him the enemy is a part of his mind which is constantly stopping him to take action upon his goals so the goals that you set in a day and then you set up a time frame for it and then you dream about it or you know uh, you can imagine how you are going to um, achieve it or how exactly are you enjoying all these things are going to attract a lot of favors to you from the universe the universe is going to give you a lot of ideas and benefits absolutely there is no doubt about it however the action that you take is going to be directly proportional to the returns that you're going to get from the universe so this boy has not taken any action other than setting up the goal and thinking about it which means he one part of his mind was constantly telling him it is enough to think and do not act on it because most of the people have a tendency not to work towards their goal or not to work for something different if you understand deeply this boy is ready to go to the work 
which pays low salary for him. He is ready to watch his movies, which is not going to make any difference. However, his goal is to speak English in 30 days, but he has not taken any action towards it. Like you can uh, talk in English for some half an hour with somebody or, you know, you can uh, read a newspaper. There are a lot of tips that even I myself provide in many of my videos, right? So he has not done any of them. He just, just tried to dream about it. So in this, so friends, if you have a dream and you want to make it true, make it as a goal and you work upon them. So if you are ready to do this, your 30 days challenge will become successful. You set a goal to become a doctor in 30 days while you're doing your engineering. You are sure and everyone is sure it is not going to happen, right? So if you want to become a doctor, you need to put the constant effort and uh, the stipulated time is also increased, right? So you should be ready to take any of the actions in this angle. If you want to learn a skill, you should be willing to join a course. You should be willing to do anything that it takes to learn that particular skill. And then if you think that you are ready to make a goal as such and you're ready to work, however, your day-to-day -day work is not letting you do, your day is jam-packed so you cannot spend more time, then you can wake up early. This is an amazing tip. If you have a habit of waking up at seven o'clock, better you just change it to five o'clock. You wake up at five o'clock and then you start working towards your goal. But that two hours that you're going to get in the morning is the most productive hours that you can work upon your dream. You can act, you can read, you can read and develop your skills. You can listen to some podcasts. You can also listen to my videos. I, I do share a lot of motivational messages and videos in the morning, right? So everything will lead towards your success. And if you're going to work upon your dreams, consciously and consistently, of course, you can definitely live your dream life. Try this out and all the best.